Hi. Welcome to ERP Next video tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to manage invoicing as per the goods and services tax in India, also known as GST. In ERP Next, tax accounts for GST are auto created in chart of accounts. Separate tax account will be created for each type of GST. Also, sales taxes and purchase taxes master will be auto created for GST accounts. Based on your location and customer's shipping address, you can select GST template. Let's check in state tax master. In the in-state GST template, tax rate applied on the item will be divided between CGST and SGST accounts. GST law requires that you maintain the GST number for all your customers and suppliers. In ERP Next, customers and suppliers GST number is tracked in the address. Let's assume that we need to update GST number for this customer. Go to address of this customer. Enter GST number. The first two digits of the GST number should match with the state code. If it is not matching, you will receive a validation message like this. Enter correct GST number and save again. Also ensure that you have updated GST number of your company. According to the GST law, each item has a unique HSN code. HSN stands for Harmonized System Nomenclature. ERP Next comes pre-installed with more than 12,000 HSN codes. Let's update HSN code for an item. Search and select HSN code. Save item. Also, you should update GST tax accounts and rate applied on this item. Usually the rate for CGST and SGST is half of IGST for example, if IGST applied on this item is 18%, then CGST and SGST, it will be 9% each. Now, we will create a sales invoice which will comply with GST. Select customer. We can see that customers and our GST number is fetched with the address details. Now, we will select items. Since this customer is located in the same state as ours, we will select tax template of in-state. We can see that different tax rate has been applied on each item, based on the tax rate mentioned in the item master. Let's save this sales invoice. Let's check print preview. GST number of customer and your company will be updated here. Now, we can submit this sales invoice.
in ARP Next. Reports for filing GST tax returns are readily available. Check Accounts module for the reports. Check this report for filing your sales tax returns. Same way, you can check GST Purchase Register report for filing purchase returns. In ERP Next, you can invite your customers and suppliers to update GST number for their companies from your ERP portal. To send them an email invite, go to GST Settings. Here you will get the count of addresses with and without GST number. To send reminder to contact without GST number, click here. Hope you found this video tutorial useful. For more details and free sign up, check erpnext.com. Thanks for watching.